Hey everybody, I'm Recycled, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 2. I said we were going back to San Francisco. And, uh, there's really no other course of action, so let's go! Now, I recall that I actually said I wasn't going to pick that locker, but the problem is I think that by picking the locker and getting the thing that's inside of it, that I'll actually get some more experience. However, at this point, it's not like I really need experience. So, maybe on second thought, I just won't worry about it. But, um, even though we're stupid, it's fine because, uh, intelligence isn't the requirement to pick up people. It's actually charisma, which we have just enough. What you be need? Wait. Really? I can't? Oh, I need. I can't. Oh, that's bad. Uh. Okay. Apparently, you just can't ask him if you're not really smart enough. So I'm gonna have to take more mintats. Fortunately, we have plenty, and that's not a problem at all. What Jimmy? Me smart. Let's go. What Jimmy? Just go, Vic. Let's do it, Vic. Come on, Vic. Hey, Vic. You can keep that power armor. Because... Yeah. Like he'd fit inside. Because... <laughs> it had quite a slimming effect on you, Vic. Not bad. Um, I have a lot of uh combat armor well oh i put the loot away well anyway i have more combat armor but i want to like to have power armor before we go to the uh enclave and if we could talk to the she well we can talk to the she now um <coughs> this guy occasionally sells power armor and I say occasionally because apparently it's not every time. But if he just sold some extra power armor, then... We'd be set. See, the thing is, when you go to the Enclave, if you go alone and you're wearing power armor then I think that you don't get aggro but I think if my guys have power armor too then they might not cause aggro. He has psycho. I like psycho. I don't have anything to sell though. I do have vertebrate plans. But since we're smart I'm going to ignore the... wait. No I'm not. He's the one who gives you the copy, not the other guy. Ha <laughs> ha, that could have been a bad mistake. And if we open this door, it actually creates a little shortcut. Like it matters. It doesn't. Hey guy! I got the stuff. Great work! Let me have the plans. I'll make a copy of them. As promised, I'll give you full access to our facilities. Thank you. Well, you're so welcome. You got a shit ton of XP. What do I even want? If I'm going to get another point of AC, I need to get 252 unarmed. And it's going to be really expensive and take several levels. So I guess I'll just forget about it. But what could be useful, I mean, there's not a stat I can increase that will... Oh yeah, doctor. Hey, we, what do we need money for? What, what do we ever need money? Oh, for the surgery. But we can only get the surgery if we can... We can get money anyway. It's too bad you only get tag once. Can you only get tag once? I think you can only get it once. That'd be sweet if we could get the uh, plating. And I think at first it doesn't affect your charisma. 
Well, yeah, I did that. So now we got a copy of the vertebrate plans, which means we can go to the she and give it to them as well, even though they haven't asked for it. But they will. Kazam, we're here. I would uh, like to speak... Really? How do I know about that? Not everyone can see the Emperor. You must prove your worth. Are you willing to do it? Hell yeah. Excellent. Go get the vertebrate plans. And then... Okay. Um, hey, vertebrate plans. Where did these come from? But you have to take them to that guy. Oh. He's not in here, is he? Nope. That guy is looking at me. Dr. Wong Yeet Z. Is that this guy? They don't have their names listed. If you're speedrunning the game uh, and you kill this guy, then the hubologist will, like, give you a, a ride to the rig. Nope. His text is green, though, which I think means he's happy with me. You have a certain schematic to give me? Ken Lee told me to give these to you. Speak to Ken Lee, and he shall discuss what happens in your future. Thank you. We shall be able to verify some of our test data with these. Good day. So long. So now we can see the Emperor. And I believe... Another test. Oh yeah, they want us to do this. Uh, the Hubologists live next door. We really hate them. They suck. So you have to go do that. Yeah, if you have low intelligence and you do the thing for the Brotherhood, then you don't have to help the She or the Hubologists. But if you're not stupid, then you have to go through the Hubologists or the She. I think it's true. Yeah. They're really far away. So the Hubologists are just over here. You can't miss it. Uh, the runway does not look very safe to use. And guys, I hate to tell you, but this is actually a glider and not really meant to uh, power itself to orbit. The Earth is really massive, and that has a huge uh, effect on the curvature of space-time. But we have to get in. So let's play it cool as a cookie. You, state your business. I am interested in joining your group. Excellent. Go in. Go in. Speak to Juan Cruz and Vicky Goldman. They're celebrities, you know. But they'll talk to you. Ooh, celebrities. You can find them in the prayer room, showing all our new recruits in the raw meat just how rewarding it is to be a hubologist. Well, let me add them. Meaning, lower your defenses. I could probably get quite a bit of XP for killing all these guys. And in fact, I think that is completely unavoidable. Um, it is possible to sneak in and kill this guy. This is the guy we're after. Because, well, I mean, you can tell just by the layout of the building. He's the most nested furthest away, hardest to access, and behind the most security, so clearly he's the leader. But, stupidly, he has a back door leading in there, and the doors are unlocked, so you can just go in. I think there's something you can do with this computer. But, uh, you don't have to. Oh, wait. So, anyway, I think if you're sneaking, and you kill him, and get really lucky, then no one else would... I'm gassy. We'll uh, go aggro. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, you know, I'm happy just killing everyone. It'd be good if we could all get in the same place. I feel like that's not a good place to be when the shit goes down. So technically, I could just wait until my intelligence drops again and then talk to the Brotherhood guy and we go straight to the rig. But we'll get some extra XP for doing this. And uh, I wouldn't mind having an extra perk. We'll get it at level 30. I don't know if we'll get enough XP to do that, but maybe uh, I'll do some more grinding if I have to. 
So let's pretend. Let's see, I'm sneaking. You shouldn't know about me. And actually, you know the way sneak works? I think, like, okay, if I'm over here and he's not looking at me, and then I go to combat mode, and I run up next to him, then I'm not sneaking anymore, but, oh, well, let's do it. And we killed him. But I can't in combat because there's hostiles. So that didn't work. We're going to get in a long fight. These guys' weapons are pathetic. Sulik has a zillion HP. Vic is in power armor. I can explode people with one punch. So uh, I'm just going to cut this. It seems like they're almost exclusively women. <laughs> it seems like they're almost exclusively women for some reason. And apparently I can't see you, but that won't stop me from targeting you. <laughs> oh no. Look at that. A very suspicious amount of money in the pot. And this guy was like rich and stuff. So he should have some good stuff. Rich people always have good stuff. But he has nothing. And I can't use his thing. He doesn't have a box full of goodies. Eh. And no one even uses energy weapons, so... They probably don't really have anything really great. Although, I could always use a few extra stem packs, and I killed these people rather quickly. So it's, uh... Likely... Well, at least the ones wearing armor. Yeah, I'll take the stems. Those are always handy. I used like a ton of them at Navarro <laughs> when I was getting shot, critted by a uh, plasma. That was very painful. So I went through at least like 40 stem packs, I think. Every little bit helps. So there's a few more spread around. This looks like an armory of sorts. I wonder what they have. <coughs> Did somebody notice? No. They didn't. Do you have stems? Yes, you do. So what's on the table? It looks like stuff. There's nothing on the table. What about this one? Are you fucking kidding me? I came all the way here and there was what looked like stuff and there was nothing? Yeah, really. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. It's so easy, they never get aggro. Hey, I'm here. I'm an enemy. I killed your leader. Don't you care? Don't you care about anything? Did they suck your soul out or something? What's going on here? <laughs> So, everyone's dead except for the guy by that big computer in the back. Well, open it. Shit. But this place really does look like it has stuff. I got your counter. Mine is in the shop. You gotta have something good. Well then, unlock it. Hey, I like all that stuff. Take all. Oh. Eh. Maybe in a different life. <laughs> Nope, nothing good here at all. Oh, wait, look at that. Oh, we already opened this one. Oops. <laughs> Let's go talk to the last guy. Hey, I got no beef with you. Just don't hurt me. Okay. I don't really have beef with him either. 
What about this computer? It's a computer console. Should I use science? Of which I have a decent amount? No. But by saying I failed to learn anything, kind of suggests that there's a possibility of not failing. Not like I couldn't have possibly learned anything. But maybe that's what they mean, but didn't say. Ah, this does something. But I'm not good enough. And using it is the same thing as using science. Well, it's probably not important anyway. Oh, uh, let's report back to our quest giver. Oh, look, we didn't kill all of them. Who are these guys anyway? Oh, they're mad. That's too bad. I'm kind of dangerous. And I don't like getting shot at. Your bullets do nothing! Why would you die? <laughs> How do I know if this is even a bad guy? A hopeful glint? Hey, a hopeful glint and you're standing next to this thing? That means you were working with them. You must die. Like everyone else. Well, that was that. I see nothing out of the ordinary. Really? You can't even loot him? He has a corpse though, right? Oh, you have to click on... Well... I hope you didn't have any important loot. If I scroll my thing over here, it should say you see the remains of... But it doesn't say that. So I can't loot him. Oh well. It's probably not important. Probably. Anyway, let's go back to our quest giver. Almost there. With the death of AHS-9, the great and terrible, the Hubologists pose no real threat to us in our research. Well done. You have our gratitude. Would you like to speak to the Emperor? Sure. You have proven yourself to be a friend to the Shi. I believe I can trust you with our secrets. In the back room, you will find the force field to the large computer has been turned off. Enter the password, and you will find yourself connected to the Emperor computer. I hope this will prove useful to you. The Emperor is a computer? Yes, it stores our history, our research, and projects, project projects possibilities for the future. It is far better than any fallible human, yet we temper its suggestions with our own knowledge of human nature. Thank you for your time. I have a village to rescue. But I was already there, and Hakunin was on the ground, and he was like, Dude, you're too late. So I think with the restoration pack, you can actually do something here that involves a submarine. Otherwise, like, uh, you should die. And to do it, you have to, uh, not any of those, uh, wait, well that's gonna fail, what about the submarine? Enclave more powerful. Tinker Vagrants, 0% likely to clear creature infestation without outside assistance. <laughs> what about the submarine? Require more input. Okay, if that was like a hint line, then they're saying you need to clear the infestation from the tanker. Um...
Submarine. The Shiwong T. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Submarine damaged beyond repair. Mainframe removed from vessel and relocated. Ship refitted as stationary defensive structure two miles north northeast of San Francisco Harbor. <coughs> A stationary defensive structure? Oh, the Valdez has been infested with mutants since 2220. The maintenance crew. After a few minutes of fiddling with commands, you managed to pull up a small text file concerning the generator on the submarine. It seems that regular trips are needed to refuel and maintain the generator. The file also lists the current maintenance crew roster. Submarine maintenance crew, Ting Tao Hung Kwai Xin Fai Lo Chang Wu Fei. Add myself. With a few quick keystrokes, you become a part of the submarine maintenance crew. A list of passwords for the motorboat guard is now accessible. You plug the pit boy into one of the access ports. After a moment, you have an up-to-date list of passwords for the next year. Talk about security. <laughs> so I think... If you... Uh, help the Hibologists, then the stupid submarine will kill you, maybe, and you have to go in there to do that. In my case, since I helped the she, I think the submarine doesn't actually shoot at you. Or maybe it's if you don't have the right quest item, like for example, I don't have the Navcom uh, thing. I, I don't have the... No, I never got Navcom parts, and I never got uh, the tanker dongle. So... Uh, anyway, I had the opportunity to go do this, and I'll get... Oh, they're dead. They're very dead, actually. So I think that I'll go, and I'll do this, just for the XP. By the way, we caught a level at some point. I put the points into Doctor, which is now not very good. I mean, we have enough Mentats. Oh, but wait. The problem is... To learn about the combat implants, you have to talk to the doctor at Vault City. <laughs> Oops. I guess I screwed the pooch on that one. Um, this isn't the right place. It's over here. This is the boat that goes to serve the thing. Can I just get on? It does. What do you want, Lao Wai? I need to use your boat. You need not to do that. I'm an honorary member. I was hired for submarine maintenance due to my expertise in subology. Here's a password. I guess you really are a technician. The she must be getting desperate to hire outsiders. Anyway, <laughs> must be getting desperate to hire outsiders. Anyway, <laughs> they must be getting desperate to hire outsiders. Can't wait. Uh, anyway, you're early. Didn't they tell you tech team doesn't leave until midnight? You can wait from here if you wish. Okay. I got 500 XP. And now I can go in a sub. Watch your step. So, these guys are actually not aggro on me. I don't know what they expect me to do. There's a bunch of bulkheads. I guess if there's a leak, then the whole thing won't flood. Really? I don't recall seeing you around here. What are you doing in the torpedo room, and who are you? <coughs> I'm a repairman, freshly added to the roster. I'm supposed to be doing periodic maintenance on the torpedoes since they look like hell. Look at all this rust. The propellers look like they're about to fall off. Well, you don't look like a mechanic. Frankly, I don't think you can tell a spanner from a screwdriver from the looks of it. So why don't you go back and help the rest of the guys instead of loitering in torpedoes? You'll blow us up. 
let me try again. I'm also a last minute addition to the tech team. Sorry for not informing you. Oh, and I'm here to do maintenance on the torpedoes. No, you're really not a mechanic. Okay, so... Um, I'm not... We're allied with the she. So we don't have to do this anyway. But anyway, if we had a higher science skill or a higher repair skill, then we probably could have bluffed the guy. But otherwise, you'd have to... Uh, kill him, and then rig the torpedoes, and then it would blow up the submarine, and then the submarine wouldn't hurt you. So there's really no reason for me to come here. Really? I have to do it. It won't let me leave. Can I just, like, tell them that I'm a friend and I'm going to be... No, I have to disarm it, because that's the quest. Are you... I have to do this. I have to rig the torpedoes. Well then, can we fuck with the t torpedo uh, propeller? Can we rig it? Don't touch that. I had to kill this guy. Dude, you're making my life impossible. I literally cannot leave if you're still alive. Did anyone notice? No? Okay, good. Uh, the rusted through propulsion system is too much of a challenge. The nuts are stuck. You can't quite figure out how to detach the propeller without cutting yourself. Well, I have a tool. Actually, no. I didn't fucking bring it. Oh, God. I have to pass a skill check or this isn't going to work. Come on. Lockpick isn't going to help me. Thanks to two centuries of decay, the rust of propulsion system is easy to disassemble. Moments later, it's put back together, this time completely immobilized. Does that mean I have to do this one, too? No, you don't have to do that. Because... It's not a thing. Nope, definitely not a thing. So, uh, I killed the guy, though, so these guys are kind of mad. I'm not really mad at them, though. But they're going to shoot at me. So, that means that I had to kill them. I wish you would stop that. I really wish you would stop. I really don't like that. If I see red, you be dead. I see red. I see more red. <laughs> Your shitty human weapons cannot harm me. Do you know who I am? Oh, I don't have any ammo. Uh, we have to punch him. <laughs> Old school. That's right, you're blind. I have time to reload. That's going to take two punches to put you down. He's still alive. Goodness. This guy doesn't have any weapon. Where do you think you're going to go? Getting electrocuted is not something you need to worry about, friend. Okay. Well, I really don't think they have any good loot, so let's just go. If the she are my enemy, oh yeah, they are. You want to die too? I can help you with that. Did you lose your turn, friend? God, he's really tough. Are we good here? Eh. So, uh, anyway, by doing that, we'll have made enemies of the she, which is actually something I 
don't have to care about, but in this case, asking myself the question, do I care if I'm enemies with them? The answer is yes. Yes, I care a lot. So I'm going to reload my game, and uh, we'll just pretend that never happened, because canonically, it never did. I think I got more XP because I was stupid, and he said something different. Oh, but he still gave us the plans back. I don't think you can even talk to the she if you're stupid. Huh. So, he said you can just go to the rig and use it, and that it would go, and everything would be fine. I didn't need to worry about a thing. So that's kind of good, because then I don't have to worry about hibologists. I mean, they're not worth that much XP anyway. It's a pain in the ass to kill them all, because their base is built like a maze. Oh, wait. This isn't the guy who wanted the plans. What can I do for you? You? Traveler, I cannot help you. Maybe you should do something else. Have we already talked to that guy earlier? I think we did. Hey, guy, you want these fucking plans for this thing? May I assist you? Dougie New? I must confess, I don't speak idiot. Perhaps you should speak to Ken Lee. Gah! Are you Ken Lee? I don't know. <laughs> I think uh, we should turn in this quest, though, because we'll get some XP. So, uh, we should probably eat some Mintats. Doggy, no. Which means we do have to kill the... Well, we don't have to kill all of them. We just have to kill the one guy. It's not hard. Uh... Y'all have already seen this. <laughs> it totally worked. I didn't get aggro. He doesn't have any loot, though. Okay. Time to blow this popsicle stand. But first, we should raid the uh, dish. Yeah, they didn't even notice that their leader is dead. Do they care that I'm doing this? Fuck no. Alright, losers. <laughs> yeah, all I did... I went into sneak mode and I just stayed as far away from the soldiers as I could. And then I started my turn while I was far away from the guy before he could detect me. And so I ran up to him and just punched him in the eyes twice. And he exploded. And nobody cared. I mean, in truth, I don't really care about the Emperor. I do care about getting 5,000 XP, though. Nah, I don't really give a fuck. Bye. Come to think of it, I think there might be a suit of power armor inside here. He doesn't mind if I go in. Oh, look! There's pulse weapons. I think Vic will use this. Although, I don't know what kind of ammo it uses. I guess I can find out easily. And this thing looks pretty awesome. I guess I'll hang on to it. Oh, yeah, I think they use special ammo that's, like, super rare. No, that uses small energy cells. And this uses MF cells. Well, that's easy. We have plenty of that stuff. But first, let's see what's in here. Hey, look, it's an extra suit of power armor. And a suit of badass brotherhood armor that we're just not even going to use. It's great armor. It looks like combat armor on your little avatar. Like that. Hey, so, like... Stop moving, motherfucker. Seriously. You want this. What you be need? <laughs> yeah. He won't wear the helmet though. Here, let me carry that stuff for you. Oh yeah, maybe you can use this. Can you use that? What you be need? Uh No, he can't. Well shit. I guess no one's gonna use it. Unless Vic won't use the rifle. Hey Vic. Where the hell'd you go? Seriously, where oh. Okay. 
why don't you take this and some of these and then tell me what your favorite gun that you have is. Fuck yes. I don't really remember how much damage it does, but it's got to be better than that crappy plasma pistol. Dude, he is so inaccurate with that thing. It's really ridiculous. So I'm going to do some inventory management, but while we're here, which things do I have? Which ones did I forget? I don't have any of them. We got to go back to the car. Oh, I gave Vic the turbo plasma rifle, and he actually prefers it. So I guess that'll be his ultimate weapon. I'm just throwing some crap out of the car. There's some valuable stuff on the ground here. I'm trying not to throw away anything too great. Guess what we didn't ever sell? 28 fucking golden gecko pelts. <laughs> I mean, what is all this stuff? Oh no, I don't want to pick it up. Shit, what did I get? I don't want it. It's some kind of trash. It's like ammo for a gun that we don't use. Or... Oh yeah, I threw away a super toolkit. <laughs> we don't need two of them. I don't know how we ended up with two of them. But I'm keeping only the best stuff. Like plasma rifles, grenades, a GEC, memory modules, guns that we actually use, not this. <sighs> Ammunition, energy, bombs, and other cool stuff. So, uh, I'll finish this off screen. Oh, we actually did get the NAVCOM parts. I don't think we need them, though. Oh, well. So now we've got the green... Uh, fuck. Green, red, and blue memory modules. Which means we're actually missing one. Hmm. I'm going to look up which one it is, and if I even want to get it. The one we're missing is the yellow memory module. The yellow memory module increases your intelligence. That is something that for this playthrough I definitely don't want to do. And I just pulled up my character sheet to show you that I have low intelligence, but right now I'm under the effects of Mintats, so I don't. But we're going to go back in here and we're going to go see Ace inside the Brotherhood bunker. So now while we're smart, we can definitely talk to him. When we're stupid, I'm not sure. Uh, am I doing anything? I am Ace, the medical computer. Are you in need of medical assistance? I am, actually. Uh, I'm kind of radiated. I'm going to go in the tank and relax. It requires an hour. Okay. What can you do quickly? The requested procedure has been completed. Please exit the tank. Thank you. <laughs> no, I like it in here. I'll never leave. Tell me things. Tell me about upgrades. Ah, I can be more charismatic, more perceptive, or s smarter. Wait a minute. Okay, I don't know why Ace is telling me that I'll be smarter. Um, I should probably save my game. Because he did say that. Uh, it's the yellow one that increases your intelligence. Oh, he's probably going to tell me, yeah, that he can't do it. Well, anyway, if you want that, you have to get it from the Sierra Army Sierra Army Depot. Sierra. <laughs> Syria. Um, but you can get stronger or more perceptive or more charismatic. Since I have red, green, and blue. Uh, for me, my biggest problem is definitely my perception. He says his library is incomplete and requires the memory module to tell him the appropriate procedure. And I have it. It takes two weeks of suspension time. Well, the only problem with that is that I'm going to be dumb in two weeks, but let's go for it because this is my big problem. I know how to say thank you. But I have three intelligence. My perception went up by a point, which is awesome. So now my sequence is 16. 
Really? Okay, so it's 14 plus 2. Yeah, 16. I must have been reading it wrong. I thought I had 20 sequins. That would be incredible. <laughs> it could be 20 sequins if I had kamikaze. Actually, it would be 26 right now, but I wouldn't have had to throw all this extra stuff into a uh, sequence. So, let's see if we can get extra strength. Although we don't need it since we have that power armor. Uh, me want be more likable. Me have disc. You take. Me agree. Yeah, you can do this even if you're low intelligence. I think you can get a discount for being stupid on an intelligence upgrade. That must be in New Vegas. <laughs> she feels sorry for you. Time is meaningless. Do it. Until the integer overflow. So now our stats are a little bit better. We have 7 natural strength, 7 perception, and 4 natural intelligence. In fact... Since I know that uh, you can get another set of power armor, and we have plenty of weapons for everyone, I think I'm actually going to go and pick up Cassidy from Vault City so we can have another guy running around in power armor killing stuff. Oh no, they're still mad. You should really let it go for your own sake. Also, only one of them shot at me because my sequence is good. She had the opening attack, and these guys didn't get a chance to react yet. Oh, Vic! Someone said you were good with energy weapons, but it seems like I had to get him a Gauss rifle. He just can't hit anything with energy weapons, even though he likes using them. So, they have these turrets. These fucking turrets don't even do anything. Right? The whole town is an aggro, right? So, like, you don't have to kill that guy. I said... Where's... Well, who are you gonna kill? Steve. Okay, are we done? I don't like this. We're gonna lose karma. Okay, if I can just get to the bar, please, without causing a huge riot. I don't think your followers can be detected by enemies. I think only you can be detected. The little kid is attacking me? I'm not going to be a goddamn child killer. You stop that. Curtis, just because I attacked your superiors doesn't mean I want to kill you. Let it go. Oh, if anyone's going to kill him, it is not going to be me. You can do it if you want. I don't care. Just run away then. Finish running. I think Cassidy is special. He won't get mad. Well, now, if it ain't the mysterious stranger, what can I do for you today? I'm not smart enough. Oh, and I'm not cool enough either. <laughs> there we go. Well, now. If it ain't the mysterious stranger, what can I do for you today? I guess he's pissed at me. <laughs> Tell me about things. Interesting. <laughs> Friend, Vault City ain't an interesting place. Unless the guards get bored, then you better take cover. Why are you asking? You looking for something in this sinkhole? Oh, really? Well, hell then, I must be mistaken considering you're the authority and all. Shut up. Oh, yeah. A beautiful <sighs> Whatever. After they halt oh, I'm so oh, sorry. Better. Even the good days ain't... Uh, Come on. Mixed. 
going. Come on. All right. Come on. All right. Count me in. Yeah, dude. Fucking for real. Hey. Just in case we get into a fight, dude. Okay, don't carry that shit around. You don't need that. You don't need any of this. What is this crap? Take this. Take that if you want it. Take that if you want it. Take these if you choose the one thing. And, uh... Take these if you chose the other one. <laughs> okay, what do you like? You got that I'm pulling rank look again. He likes combat armor. He likes pulse pistol. Yeah. Well, oh fuck, I don't want to talk. If you're not going to use it, then don't lug it around. That way I can load you up with more junk. <laughs> I need all the adhesive in the world. Actually, yeah, uh, you know, I have plenty of that. Hey, people! Let's not fight. Can I push this guy? No. You're gonna get scared of me. Yeah, I'm scary. Fucking Curtis is gonna attack. Throwing rocks and shit. No! What are you doing? Jesus, Tulik. It's not that important. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't want these peop- I don't have any problem with these people. They never attacked us. Jesus. Who? Who is it? The lady right there? The dock? I just want to get out of here. You're getting attacked. If you have to kill him, then kill him. But I'm not going to do it. And I'm not going to... Yep, this video is getting flagged. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't flag it. Seriously. Um, can I walk away from this encounter? I just want to leave now. I saved this man's life. We can't kill him now. What would be the purpose of that? There's a bunch of stuff laying here from where... Uh... I guess the guard uh, was standing and their body disappeared, leaving only loot. That would be a great starting gun for Vic. I mean, not Vic. What am I saying? Cassidy. Just leave. I don't have enough action points. Don't. Why? Holy shit, that gun is awesome. <laughs> Take that, traveler. That's what you get for being scared. Can we just go? Who else do you have to kill? When will your bloodlust be sated? Jesus. Okay, so now we have to go get some power armor. Um, there should be another set in the toxic caves. And we never could do that before, so let's do it. I'm stupid again. No. I don't need to wear these. And I don't need to haul this crap around. Crap, crap. Oops. <laughs> crap. Everyone should be tough enough that the goo cannot hurt them. Although Cassidy will act like he's taking damage. He won't take any. He could grow an extra toe if he was the player character, though. Twenty-eight golden gecko skins. 
but we never got to sell them because nobody had any money. <laughs> I have a level 2 electronic lockpick. Which should open the door with ease. Oh, but the generator doesn't work. Do it, Vic. Okay. It doesn't hurt. We can go. But this can be kind of dangerous, and I'm not carrying any pulse grenades, but that's okay, because I can punch really well. Just in case you've never been in here. It's really dangerous. That robot shoots rockets, and it shoots a lot of them. But there's only one of it. Uh, I think we can take it, you guys. But the question is, how close can I get to it before it goes aggro? And the answer is, not very. What the robot doesn't know, though, is that after this turn, we're probably going to get two, because his sequence probably sucks. So I'm going to try to get sort of to the side so they can still get a shot on him. And I'm going to punch the shit out of him. If I could hit him in the CPU, that'd be the best. But um, really, I'm just scared of missiles. This would be good to cripple. Did I cripple it? No, I didn't. Are you crippled? Yep, his rocket hand is damaged. Oh, you're getting fucked up. <laughs> Monday night. Oh, am I really out of ammo? I guess I gave it all to Cassidy. What kind of loot do you drop? Well, I see the remains, but I can't access them. Oh, well. Um, if there was power armor in here, it'd probably be down by the Bozar. Unlocked. Yep. Bunch of stuff. Well, I like all that stuff. I like stuff. Stuff likes me. Oh. Well. It's good. I mean, this is a good trinket to have. I thought there was... Po there's no power armor in here. Um, there's another set of power armor. Uh, we already got one from the military base. Huh. I guess if you need more power armor, you have to get it from the uh, merchant. We're never going to use all the Radex I've got. Hey, look. Just in case we find a Gauss rifle, that's the kind of ammo it takes. They're really good, and you probably don't want Vic to use anything else. Well, Sulik uses that gun, doesn't he? What does Sulik use? Sulik? Are you using that one gun? I forgot. I think he's still using that gun. But I gave him this. Uh, I don't remember. What gun do you have? Yeah, he's got that gun. We'll take this ammo. Well, shit, I guess we'll go back to the merchant. Just making a slight detour here. <laughs> I couldn't take these guys the last time I saw them. But now it's not such a problem, so... Might as well, since we're in the area, right? Um, I would open the door, but I'll just let them do it. In fact, can they even do it since I'm standing here? Oh, what the hell? She shot me through the door. I guess it's not fit very well to the frame. Whoever hung it was not a good uh, carpenter. Or what do you call someone who hangs doors? I had to learn about that because I was like, I should replace a door. But then I moved. I didn't care about the door. You have to do it very carefully, otherwise your door will be crooked. Oh, the wrong gap at the bottom. And if you live in Texas, 
you'll find there's often not return air vents for the air conditioning that comes into your room. But for the air conditioner to work, it has to have a return path back to the intake. Hmm. We got a tiny bit of XP. Their loot is not going to be very good, but if they have any stim packs, I would like to collect them. There are some really good uh, tutorials on YouTube if you're interested in hanging a door. I think I saw the one by uh, the official sounding guys, and they're like, uh, they sound really official. <laughs> I forget the name. Oh, and we forgot. I forgot. You didn't forget. I forgot to do it. Is that my throwing knife? Yes. I don't use them anymore, though. But I do carry them for some reason. Forgot all about that. Hey, look. I forgot about that, too. What the fuck? <laughs> Is there anything else I should know about? Pressing shift? No. Yeah, this quest... You actually... Hey, there's not any loot in here. Is there... I could use some. I can go in, right? You don't care. It's me, after all. I don't know if I've ever gone in here. Oh, there's one locker. Okay. Got any power armor? It's Brotherhood armor that we can't use. Huh? stuff. Okay. Yeah, to get the quest to get mom to build the orphanage, you have to talk to this kid. I think he lives in this house. And I don't know if you can do it when you're stupid. Hi, mister. My name's Bobby, and I live here with my dad. Uh. Okay, that's not gonna work. I guess we're going back to our old mint hats. I don't like you. Go away. Are you fucking serious? I said I wasn't going to kill them. And the great thing is, I just saved my game, right? You motherfucker. <laughs> I'm not a child killer. Well, that sucks. I guess we're never going to help you kill kiss your stupid orphanage goodbye. <laughs> Fuck. Lara's gang is uh, not necessarily evil. And ah, hell, I need more XP than this. I'll leave him alone. Well, back to San Francisco. Hey, alright. Fuck, it's expensive. Okay, don't go anywhere. Stay right there. I'll be right back. And your inventory should not change. I just need to collect $27,000 worth of shit off the ground. <laughs> well, this is all the stuff I could carry. Uh, two sets of Mark II metal armor, a DE-44 Magnum, an upgraded laser, 14 mil, a P90C, an upgraded plasma, an up, uh, a regular laser sniper, and a super toolkit. And two plasma rifles. I think that's going to cover it. It didn't cover it. <laughs> it almost covered it. I couldn't even carry enough stuff to do that. Uh, I'm never going to use these. Honestly. But they're hardly worth anything. I guess I should use them. What do I have that I definitely don't need? I don't need buff out. I have 10 strength. Permanently. Does he have any money? Hey, look. It's an M60. But it takes 7.62, which is so rare that it's practically useless. Directed energy. Well, if you're getting attacked exclusively by lasers, that seems like it would be a good deal. Um, this is really a fine deal. We'll do that. Hey, Cassidy. Bro. Where did you go? Hey, person not wearing metal armor. Stop moving, please. God damn it. Carry this. What's up? You got that 
I need to tell you something you might not like, look again. Ha ha ha! So the only thing wrong with my party now is they don't have Gauss rifles. <coughs> I know where we can get some, but I don't want to piss off NCR. So if I really want one, the only thing I can really do is drive around in circles and then check back every once in a while. And, uh, well, I guess I'll walk in circles so I don't use fuel. And then, uh, this guy might sell one. Actually, isn't the gun guy the other guy? What am I saying? This guy will never spawn what I want. But this guy might. And if he does have it, I don't know if I have enough stuff to trade unless he wants 28 gecko belts. He has cash. We could go and, uh, oh, a gas pistol. That's not bad. It's kind of expensive. We don't have anything to trade. Yeah, I guess we have to go around. I, d I just want to leave now. No. Yeah. I guess we have to go around and get into fights, and hopefully they'll drop good stuff. Uh... You plant the power armor. Yeah, this stuff is not very good. We need to get, like, P90s and stuff to sell. Oh, no! The game crashed! What happened to my fucking audio? Can you hear me? I don't know. Well, anyway, um, segue. And on second thought, guys, uh, I looked at how long this video is actually getting now that I had a chance to take a break. We'll cover the rest of it in the next one. See you there. Bye-bye.